This is Sue Bush from Physique Development, and today I'm gonna to talk about how to add muscle without adding fat. We develop physiques, we train, we educate, and we empower. Today's video comes from a question from our DM. So if you're interested in asking us a question, then shoot us a message to this Instagram account or leave us a question down below and we would love to get to it. And if you want to be able to receive more information from coaches who have over 40 years of experience in the space and a team that loves being able to provide free information that is evidence-based, please go ahead and subscribe. It makes our day and it allows us to keep putting out free information. The question that we got in our DMs was, will I gain fat in a calorie surplus or when I am trying to gain muscle? And I think there are a few things to take into consideration here. And one of them is going to be your starting weight and or body composition. When it comes to your body composition or your body fat percentage, if you are extremely lean, it is very unlikely that you're gonna be able to add muscle without gaining any fat. Cause there's also going to be a point where you need to make sure that you have good hormonal health. And sometimes when you are towards that very lean, especially if we're looking at like competitor lean, being able to gain muscle without gaining any fat is highly unlikely. And when it comes to the daily lifestyle person, one main thing to keep in mind is that you will gain weight because muscle does have weight to it, but we can largely minimize the fat that you have the possibility of gaining because gaining fat is actually pretty easy, but gaining muscle on the other hand can be more difficult. So we do just need to optimize some factors and keep that in mind to minimize that fat gain. Let's go ahead and dive into some of those aspects that we can put in place to minimize any type of fat gain while trying to gain muscle. So the first thing we wanna look at here is nutrition. And when looking at nutrition, there are going to be a different breakdown of macronutrients. One huge thing here is going to be your protein amount. And you might have heard before that protein is going to be the building blocks for gaining muscle, but really more than anything, protein is going to be the building blocks for every cell in your body. And it is going to be instrumental in being able to gain lean body mass. We can see benefit within protein, especially for a healthy exercising adult from 1.6 to 2.2 grams per kilogram of body weight. That would put us about one gram per one pound of body weight. But the research has also shown that we haven't seen negative effects, even going up to a three, four, or five grams per kilogram of body weight, especially if you don't have any pre existing liver or kidney issues. So I'll have a video linked down below that is a protein 101 video to give you all of the information. Now, diving into carbs and fats, I find that these two are often demonized, and we do not need to demonize either of them. Carbs are going to be so helpful for fueling our body fueling our performance and allowing us to have the output and training that I'll talk a little bit about later. And when it comes to fats, again, dietary fat isn't bad for you. It is actually going to be a huge help for your hormones, making sure that those are running smoothly. It's going to play a role in digestion as well as your hair, skin, and nails. So both are extremely important. And if you're wondering what your macro breakdown should be, you can go ahead and hit a link down below to hear more about our coaching, or we have a free free macro calculator that you can use. We need to be able to digest what we're eating. We need to prioritize protein and just be in a moderate surplus. There is a point where if you gain too much body fat, that is going to impact your ability to gain muscle. With using a moderate surplus, we can still see that muscle gain that we're really wanting to see while again, minimizing any type of fat gain. And a big part of this with having the moderate surplus and the way that we can see the best results is making sure that you're having the right training intensity and execution. I think when we look at these big things like, oh my gosh, am I going to gain fat? Am I going to gain muscle? What are the trade-offs? What type of flexibility do I want? What does it look like within my training and consistency? Because when it comes to food, yes, we wanna be in a surplus overall, but if you have days where it's high, low or days where you get a bunch of movement and then no movement, that can be really difficult because you don't have that consistency to really anchor you down to have those results. And one thing I always try to drive home is if you want to see progress, you have to track progress. Tracking your progress is not going to look like stepping on the scale once a week, looking at the number, never writing it down anywhere, and then wondering if you're gaining muscle. 
It's being able to consistently track your weight, being able to track your food with some sort of app, being able to track your training sessions as well to be able to see what it looks like for your intensity amongst other things. And if you're listening and you're like, man, that sounds like a lot of work, I will tell you that gaining muscle and growing muscle is a lot of work and effort that you have to put in. If you want to gain muscle, you have to commit to gaining muscle. It can't be something where you say, okay, I've got my macros from the PD macro calculator. I'm freaking doing this thing. You have one week, you start to feel a little bit uncomfortable and you immediately pull your food or you immediately try to get more movement in to counteract that surplus because then you don't have that consistency in place. Then you are likely going to be jumping between feeling like you're gaining weight and losing weight, gaining fat and losing fat instead of what we likely all want, especially if we're watching this video, is to gain muscle, minimize fat, and then if needed, being able to just lose fat and not losing any of the muscle that we worked so hard to get. So in summary, the main things that you need to do to minimize any type of fat gain while you are trying to gain muscle and or in a surplus is going to be prioritize protein, track your progress, put yourself in a moderate surplus, train hard, recover harder, and that includes your sleep too, and make sure that you are consistent and committed to the process. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions, we'd love to be able to answer them and I'll have all of the resources linked down below. Catch you in the next one.